Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome back to Awakened Faith, your trusted source for inspiration and guidance on your Catholic journey. We're thrilled to have you here with us today. Before we dive into the heart of today's video, I want to extend my heartfelt blessings to each and every one of you. May your faith be steadfast, your hearts filled with love, and your lives be touched by the grace of God. Now, as we embark on this spiritual journey together, I kindly ask you to show your support by spreading the light of faith. Please take a moment to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you not only strengthen your connection with this community, but also help us reach and inspire more souls on their path of faith. Not a few have been somewhat alarmed by the prophecy of Fur Oliveira of Costa Rica quoting the Blessed Mother last June 17 as saying that this coming October will be the start of the Great Tribulation, is something spectacularly dire to happen in October. The fact that F. Fur Oliveira also hit accurately on other prophecies, such as the death of Pope Emeritus Benedict XV in December last year, has led serious Catholic prophecy watchers to take him seriously. And now, some anxiety has been bred by e air. Oliveira's quoting the Blessed Mother citing a specific month, this October, to usher in dreaded prophecies. And so it is being asked, what are we to expect a little over a month from now? There are some Catholic visionaries to whom details of the Great Tribulation were disclosed. The rest of the faithful will have to wait until they are permitted to disclose pending events, as permitted by heaven. Yet it is possible that this October will come and pass without sensational events. Yet, I would like to point out that in her message to Fur, Oliveira, the Blessed Mother, while saying in October of this year, a period of great tribulation will begin. She also pointed out that this period will not come with a bang. She said it will be gradual and will spread slowly throughout the world. Could the Blessed Mother be referring to the penetration of evil during the Synod of Synodality slated this October and to end in October next year? Smaller synods in various parts of the world were initiated two years ago by Pope Francis and in some archdioceses. Participants pushed for the approval of measures totally in conflict with the teachings and traditions of the Catholic Church. Proposals in these small synods are to be tackled starting this October. Remember, too, that in her several apparitions, the Blessed Mother referred to long years of trials ahead. So it is possible that the prophesied trials are to start this October indeed, but are to gain momentum over the next several years, regardless of the magnitude of the first tribulation events this October. The call is for conversion. Now. Warnings from heaven via credible Catholic mystics mince no words about pending natural and man-made nade disasters at unprecedented levels. There have already been hints of the tribulations in the recent years. But the euphoria from rising from a stifling pandemic seems to have blinded most people towards rabid materialism, a drive to restore things lost during lockdowns, and even gaining much more. Pending October, heaven continues to issue appeals and warnings to mankind. On Aug. 3, 2020. 3, 2020. 3. St. Michael, the archangel told third-degree Augustinian stigmatist Luz de Maria de Bonilla as follows, Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, my sword remains aloft, not only as a sign of protection and defense for humanity, but as a sign that human beings must aspire to be spiritual. The devil is constantly striving to lead you astray and is presenting you with a world that is always the same putting on a mask so that you would not see the truth, but a distortion of momentary reality. People will rise up against their rulers, and revolts will become more constant. Violence will become customary. Man is becoming entrenched in evil. And chaos is coming. Religion will be undermined and society dulled. They will impose a single religion. People will turn against one another over. The single religion and persecutions will come even within families. Spain, France, England, Germany, and Poland will be attacked. They will be betrayed. 
not by foreigners, but by those to whom those nations have given shelter. Freedom has been reduced to an idea so that man would resign himself, to not having freedom, to not thinking and not acting, but to letting other brothers decide about his life. This time is turning like the blades of a windmill, without being seen. Just as the wind keeps the blades in motion, so it is at the moment. The wind of evil keeps evil minds in constant. Motion, with evil constantly acting upon humanity. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you must change. Now, if you wish to save your soul, you must be closer to our King and Lord Jesus Christ and our Queen and Mother, so that the divine hand would sustain you and the love of our Queen and Mother draw you to the open side of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Stay alert. You are heading towards the fulfillment of grave and great events already known to you through the revelations. Be love so that love would strengthen you and keep you within the works and actions of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray. The sun will become aggressive towards man, changing Earth's climate. Pray. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray. Technology is in danger due to the sun. Pray. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray. Humanity is in danger due to the advancement of those who hold power. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Keep the faith at all times. Being creatures of faith causes my legion's protection for you to be maintained. Convert. Be beloved children of our queen and mother, who is guiding the angel of peace before his appearance in defense of mankind. Keep inner peace so that you would be enlightened by the most holy trinity. I bless you. Beloved children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, there will be much suffering for the entire humanity in the days to come. Some will probably be moved to despair. It is this thought that I am sharing below what Jesus Christ said as he faced slaves tethered to the oars of a big boat in his time. This was recorded by mystic Maria Valtorta, whose writings were endorsed by Saint Padre Pio and confirmed as supernatural by no less than the Blessed Mother in one of her apparitions in Medjugorje. Dear Lord, we come before you with humble hearts, grateful for the time we've spent together today. We thank you for guiding us on this journey of faith. As we part ways, we ask for your continued blessings upon each and every soul watching this video. May your grace illuminate their path, fill their hearts with peace, and strengthen their faith. Brothers and sisters, thank you for joining us on Awakened Faith. Your presence and devotion are a testament to the power of faith and community. We appreciate your support more than words can express. As we bid farewell, know that you are in our thoughts and prayers. May God's love and light surround you, always. Until we meet again, God bless you. Mm -hmm.